Um, I have received a package. It's pretty small, but also kind of heavy. I would wager a guess that it weighs about, oh, say, 52 times as much as one of these. And uh, you take a look at this picture here, you might already guess what's going on. And this might help even further. So I've been converting my bicycle to a electric bicycle. I bought this uh, rear wheel hub motor from uh, eBay uh, last September, I think. Waiting for me to get working on it. The kit included everything I need. Uh, almost everything. It has the uh, motor, the uh, display for speed and shots, and also the uh, uh, motor controller, which is here. So it's a 48 volt system. And uh, The only things missing were the uh, battery and the charger. So that's what we got here. Okay. So the sender. This is where I got the cells. Akkula.fi. It's a Finnish store for uh, lithium batteries. I strongly. Uh, recommend it because the uh, thing with buying batteries is uh, the shipping is problematic most of the time. So the cells I got, I got 52 of these, and here's the two. I suspect, suspect the 50s in here package somewhat. Carefully. So there we go. Get rid of that. And there we go. Yeah, these are the cells. Eighteen six fifty twenty nine E. That means uh. 2900 milliamp hours from Samsung. Uh, I've been told these are the same cells they use in uh, Tesla uses in their electric cars. So I need to make uh, a battery pack of 13 in series and four groups of those in parallel. That gives me a uh, 48, about 48 volts. Yeah, these are really nice. Well, uh, minor setback. There's 6 by 8, so 48 in this package, plus 2, that's 50. So I uh, still need 2. Uh, well, I'll deal with those. That issue later. So, I got the missing cells the very next day, and uh, I'll show you why the shipping mistake was made. So, this is one way to package a box this size, and another way is to do it like this. So, you take one cell out of every other row, and all of a sudden, you have this extra row here which fits a space for the missing two cells which are in here now
So looking at this CAD model of the uh, battery I'm going to build, it's still not finished. Uh, it's going to mount uh, in there, the frame. I still need to model the uh, casing for the battery. Right now I think I'll just laser cut this form. Uh, maybe two, two of these to uh, help keep the shape of the battery as I'm assembling it. And I'll also laser cut uh, these out of plywood. These are going to be the uh, copper sheets which connect the batteries together. So I'm using the uh, plywood as a template. what you get. Oh, bit of smoke. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, should have made it made these these parts much thicker. But I think they'll they will they will do for now. Okay, now I got these parts to use as templates for cutting the copper and these for forming the battery. These are too small. Uh, the diameter of these is not exactly 18. It's more like 18.3 millimeters. So the error adds up, and these winds up way too small. So I'll just have to redo that. <laughs> 